Hello friends, let's talk about today's topic. So if you have come out of the examination hall and you are really wondering what your topic was and what you have written, was it accurate or not? So I'm there to help you out. We are going to discuss the today's topic and again I'll be telling you all the synonyms for that and how you should have written into that. Okay, so let's talk about the today's topic. The topic that you got was some people think young people should be free to choose their job. So some people think means there are a like group of people who are really thinking that youngsters should choose the job as per their own free will. They should choose whatever they like, whatever their passion is, whatever their interest is. So they should go for that. Okay. However, there is another group of the society. So other people think they should be realistic and think more about their future. Realistic and think more about their future means instead of like going behind their uh, like emotions, they should really be thinking about the practicality. Like what exactly the demand is there in the future if they are choosing a career if they are choosing a profession in present so actually they should think whether this profession will be in demand after 10 years 15 years 20 years or not okay let's say that if i really love painting and i just want to become an artist so i should think whether becoming an artist will help me to sustain my family or not okay so there are two different aspect of it and the question was discuss both views and give your opinion so discuss both views and give your opinion means you needed to discuss both of the task individually both of the opinion individually so it should be if i talk about the paragraph management so it should be like first paragraph introduction in second paragraph you need to discuss why it is important to go with your own mindset why you should follow your heart okay and why it is important what are the benefits if you really go into uh, your career which you like okay and in third paragraph you need to talk about that why it is important to become realistic why some people think okay you should listen to your brain not your heart and in fourth paragraph you need to talk about your personal opinion plus your example like with example you need to just justify your opinion and the last one is conclusion since it is a type 2 essay so in this essay you can uh, very well write down the introduction by following the format by following the template the video i have made earlier you might have seen it and if you haven't seen it yet you can watch this video right now you can go to the description area and you can click on the link given below and then you can just watch how to write an introduction but in this introduction part also you need to rephrase the question statement so i'm just discussing a few words that you can use in order to rephrase the question like for job so this is the keyword here for job so instead of writing job again and again you can very well write profession occupation career and vocation it is vocation v o c a t i o n vocation means job okay it is not vacation right then another keyword we have that is realistic so instead of writing realistic again in fact in introduction also you should write something else so the another word we have that is practical and pragmatic keep in mind do not repeat the words that are there in the question repeating the words taken from the question just signal to the examiner that you have a limited knowledge of language and limited knowledge of language means obviously you will be getting limited marks also okay so the next we have for choose instead of choose you should write opt the next we have think like some people think other people think so why think right instead of think you should write opine some people opine they reckon they propose they believe okay so these are the different words so now i think the topic is clear to you the keywords are clear to you and introduction you can just take from the a template that I discussed earlier now I will be talking about the body paragraphs okay so second paragraph we will be talking about that why job should be of your own interest okay so in beginning you can just say undoubtedly it is very arduous or it is very difficult to choose a job okay and that too again especially for the youngsters they are novice they don't have any experience of anything not of job market and nothing else at that time they are going to choose their career so it is very difficult for them it is very difficult means it is an arduous task for them it is an onerous task or taxing taxing again the same thing it is very difficult to opt for a suitable job 
so the very first reason that why they should follow their heart why they should be free to choose whatever they want so the very first we take that if they are passionate and if they are interested in doing something now what happens like job is a kind of activity that you are doing throughout the day might be 8 to 10 hours or 12 hours in a day and if you are going to devote the maximum time of your day into something then that activity is not of your interest so obviously you will start feeling demotivated and frustrated after a certain time so it is always suggested that that activity your job your profession should be of your interest okay so if youngsters if they have a passion or if they have an interest in doing something and so this interest their passion will work as a driving force driving force means a motivating factor that will push them further to do better and to improve themselves on repeated basis okay so driving force to excel excel means to improve to reach the zenith to reach the acme of their career to excel in their occupation occupation means profession or they achieve promotion frequently so why do they achieve promotion frequently means whatever they are doing they are doing wholeheartedly they are devoting their heart and soul into it and they just want to do it because at the end of the day they feel fresh and they feel satisfying somewhere that they have done something beautiful and something good for themselves and for the society okay so they should be given free will to do whatever they want another reason we have that if they are really happy whatever they are doing is of their interest so obviously they'll be having harmonious and congenial congenial relationships among co-workers so harmonial and congenial means quite friendly okay having agree with other people they like all will see eye to eye and they will not be having any kind of disputes and conflict why because if they are asking something you will be replying with a smile on your face instead of having a kind of like arrogant look so it will going to enhance or like obviously they will be having enhanced or stimulated learning enhanced and stimulated learning why because if i'm interested in doing something i would like to learn more and more i want to develop i want to hone my skills into that particular field further so i'll keep on learning from my surrounding from my colleagues from my seniors so it will enhance my personality it will make me more knowledgeable about that particular job okay so that is the same thing they will be having enhanced or stimulated learning and at the same time they will be having better interpersonal relationship interpersonal relationship means the communication skills with other members of the company right the third reason we can just talk about that this is more satisfying and fulfilling career more satisfying and fulfilling why because they are really happy by doing something so obviously they'll be more contented they'll be more happy after doing the hectic day as well okay so this fulfilling career that and at the same time they prove to be a high flyer for the company and company will really value them as an asset okay and would like to keep them for longer time so this is what you can write when you talk about that yes people should do people should choose their job as per their own free will clear now we will be moving towards the another aspect that is they should not listen to their heart they should be realistic they should listen to their brain and they should think about future that what is the demand of future let's say i want to become something that is not in demand right now okay so there are many professions their popularity their demand is decreasing with the passage of time and at the same time that we are like uh, coming or like uh, many professions are coming forward or emerging as the time is passing the time is changing okay if i talk about my parents time so obviously there were many professions related to IT industry they were not into existence but now we can everywhere see right so time is changing that the same thing the demand for professions the demand for professionals keeps on changing so we need to keep a pace with this changing environment so this is what we will be talking about in third paragraph so this is like people need to be more people need to have more pragmatic approach pragmatic means practical approach or realistic approach so realistic approach is necessary they need to be far sighted or they should have far sightedness 
far sightedness means thinking about future what will happen after 10 years 15 years 20 years 30 years if at the age of 25 they are going to choose a career they are going to select a career so they will be having a long time to go further 25 and the age of retirement is 65 so actually they'll be working for 40 long years so for that whooping 40 years they should think that whether this profession will be in demand after that many years or not so they need to be far-sighted and they need to evaluate so evaluating the career path and salary a job can offer so what they should think they should think whether the job will be in demand in future or not whatever the salary this job is going to offer so whether this salary would be enough for me would be good enough for me to manage my routine expenses my family expenses or whatever else i'll be needing for and the next is job securities obviously job security is a very uh, like a trouble in front of everybody once you get selected for an organization and if your job is not secure you'll always be under threat okay how you'll be able to sustain your family how you can make both hands meet so job securities is again quite crucial right so job security it is a crucial factor okay and to earn livelihood livelihood means to earn bread and butter for your family so this is again very important so you need to have job security before choosing your job you need to see whether this is a secure job or not and the next you can just talk about like there are many companies who are really expanding so rapidly expanding organizations who are big organizations so if people are working in these kind of organizations which need more employees so these kind of companies they offer substantial career growth substantial means quite huge or more career growth and if someone is entering into these kind of organizations if they are climbing up the ladder of success so yes they'll be more happy because at the end everybody needs money okay so satisfaction is important at the same time we cannot ignore the money prospect with our satisfaction we cannot pay the school fees of our children with our satisfaction we cannot pay all the electricity bill internet bill house rent so so many other things for which people need money okay so obviously with satisfaction we cannot pay the medical bills also right so in my personal opinion i'll be writing in that way that definitely people should listen to their heart but at the same time they should have a little pragmatic approach also like whatever their interest is actually is their interest leading towards leading them towards the path of success or not so there should be a wise balance between the free approach your emotional and your intelligence or the pragmatic approach so after considering all such important factors one should decide to choose the career okay so i hope the topic is clear to you and if you still have any doubt you can just write me down in the comment section and if you like it don't forget to share it among your friends okay keep learning with me all the best